Gonky, well, your job's in jeopardy, my friend. Yep. <laughs> So's your job, sir. It's yep. coming, dude. <clears throat> Pretty, yep. soon, pretty soon we'll just we'll, all we'll have is just to talk about flying autoland saves king everyone safe fa and tsb launch wow. probes yeah so garmin uh what mm. 1000 and 3000 uh, has an autoland feature so wow Beechcraft Super King Air landed safely at Rocky Mountain Metropolitan in Colorado around 2 20 p.m local time wow December 20th, after the pilot lost communication with air traffic control, an onboard emergency autoland system was activated. Two people were on board. The mm. FAA is investigating. Um, wow. Garmin earlier confirmed the first non test use of its autoland system. Garmin can confirm that the emergency autoland activation occurred mm. uh, at an area in Colorado. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. So this Autoland system, it can either sense if the pilot is incapacitated or one of the passengers could have uh, could have engaged it. So hmm. okay. says the King Air, says the King Air 200 squawk 7700 at about 2 p.m. So emergency, the Autoland system was initiated and landed the aircraft, mm -hmm. uh, which is awesome. I think they got some pictures of it. Scroll down. You can watch it on VAS mm. Aviation there. there. There it is. Beautiful King mm. Air. One more time. There it is. Mm. Doing a landing. Wow. Yeah, dude gear down everything and then amazing it, it stops so um mm -hmm. mover uh sir. what do you think of garmin autoland system sir have we not covered this before the cirrus vision jet has it. I, the first time yeah. i ever saw it was on a vision jet where they, yep. they you hit the button it the robotic voice mm -hmm. says you know emergency it, it picks the right field the closest yep. one it lands it does a full stop mm -hmm. and it waits for somebody to to do that um Gong wow. Your job's in jeopardy, my friend. Yep. <laughs> So's your job, sir. Going away. At least for, at least for now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Maybe so, sir, but not today. Uh, yeah, it's pretty wild. I I, so I have questions because it said if it senses an incapacitation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how does it like how does it distinguish between an alive alert pilot and gonky? Mm. Um good question. I'm about, I'm trying to find that for here. So if you go to the Garmin website, there is an entire Q and A about yeah, mm. I, and it's I mean it's pretty extensive. Oh yeah, go back down, go back down. Can it? That's the question yeah. right there. Can it? Scroll down. Not right me, there. Doug is. It's yes. me. What are you looking for? Uh, many of these methods are configurable by the aircraft manufacturer. Emergency descent mode can be used as an automatic Ooh. auto land activation trigger. Uh, the flight mm. deck will send a, a display a message on the flight display to ask the pilot if he or she is alert. At that point, yeah. the pilot would select yes or no, mm. and the auto land would not activate. Okay. <laughs> wow. It's hypoxic and not alert. It will activate automatically. At this point, it will just send the aircraft mm. to a lower altitude. Wow. Dude, the Airbus will do that. A350. Dude, wow. it, it wow. will even, it'll even make radio call for you. Yeah, I said that. The wow. Robotic voice. Yeah. Which is crazy. Which is crazy. How, why don't you just use that every time? Like, hey, Papa Cruz. Uh, that's in there as well, <laughs> sir. Right now that this is a, uh, it's it's for uh, emergencies only. It was, is there wow. answer. And the crazy thing is like, it knows it's like how much fuel it has. Uh, yeah. If there's weather data available, it takes that into account. Wait, 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 wait. Go up, scroll up. What happens if it runs out of fuel? It crashes. It will go into under speed protection. It'll go into speed, yeah. Mm. So speed protection, just like the Airbus, <laughs> will let you stop. Wow. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty. Uh, like you said, I think you know what's crazy. Ooh. Like if it could mm. be retrofit, Pete could put it on his focke wolf. Yeah. There you go. Over, if this system was in the Hornet, it would constantly be asking me, "Do you know where you're going? Are you okay? Press, press. Yeah. I just are you alert? To, are you I just, alert? <laughs> I think back to my alleged bingo naps. And yeah, know, well, all of a sudden, mm. instead of the bingo bug waking me up, I'm You're landing. landing. I'm like, Skipper? You're what? landing. <laughs> Mover again. Yes. Yep. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I mean, all joking aside, this is pretty amazing technology. Uh, it's yep. scary because it means you don't need a pilot to land the land this airplane, which means. You don't need a live pilot. You just get a dead pilot in there. But it, it's not surprising. No, no. I mean, I, I guess what? Because if mm -hmm. you look at any commercial airliner, they 
they pretty much already do this except yeah. for what's the surprising part is now they bridge the gap between the box or the fmc or fms doing it and adding mm -hmm. flaps gear and power uh, power auto throttles but the gear and the flaps that's new. right that is new you're right yeah. and brakes yeah well it breaks so right now on a electric jet that i may know something about like you can do a cat 3 auto land and it will do everything like auto throttle brakes it'll touch wow. down it'll flare it'll do a nice flare you actually flares better wow. than well, i can for sure uh, <laughs> and it'll come to a stop i mean so the only thing it won't do is deploy the thrust reversers which most yeah. of these don't have them anyway yeah. they have beta on the king air yeah but i bet it didn't use it mm -hmm. Probably not. Yeah. I bet you it's just. Mm -hmm. I bet it's just wheel brakes because, like, a Vision Jet doesn't have reverse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, it's. I mean, it's awesome. I mean, I, it's a uh, if single pilot business type aircraft. It has happened in the past. You know, mm -hmm. where the pilot has passed away, and yeah, um, you know, whoever's left in there has to. make I mean, they've made movies about. It. I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but they, uh, you know, had to talk people down. Did it say, uh, Doug, about what it will do in the event of a, like if it's multi-engine and the engine failure? I didn't see that. But I didn't see anything again. about it. When like I read what? I read through it earlier, it didn't say anything. I mean, it talks <laughs> about GPS jamming. Yeah. Um, <laughs> wow. Which is bad, which would, which would be bad for this system. Mm. Um, but in my, my, my question is like compound emergencies, right? Like Probably, yeah. something, something... For example, when you need a real yeah. pilot, dude. Yeah. Yeah. But mm. it's like, I I'm know. telling you, I had this conversation today. In mm. 2025 and going into 2026, the state of AI, mm. yeah. we're, not, we're not far away. No. Yeah. They, they still need you guys, though. Look. Come on. If, you, if there's birds, they need you to die. <laughs> no, Doug. Birds aren't even real. Oh, okay. <laughs> So that's but a the conspiracy birds, theory. The birds by, are using Garmin too. <laughs> by Big Bird. Yeah. Big Bird. Mm. <laughs> it's a big bird conspiracy theory. It's coming. Do you look, dude? If Tesla, if Tesla mm -hmm. cars can look out in front of it and see cars and semis, yeah. and oh, signals, dude. dude it's I watched a video of the FSD in Tesla and it, it was finding mm -hmm. parking spots and yes. it's like yeah, because it's talking to the other Teslas and it knows where all the yeah. good spots are. Yeah, dude. It's it's coming. It's yep. coming, dude. <clears throat> pretty, yep. soon, pretty soon, we'll just we'll, all we'll have is just to talk about flying. There'll be no more flying well, to be had. No, think about nope. it, dude. Okay. Think about the old crush cap guys, like the yep. the dudes that were flying the uh, Electra or whatever. You know, yeah. the really old. Yep. Introduce them to a seven eighty seven today. Oof. Yeah, it's not crazy. Even, it's the not technological even leap, right? Like <laughs> they could they could not fathom uh, the Cat Three Auto Land and the mm. you know hey. This thing's a fly by wire jet. It doesn't actually connect to anything. It'll mm -hmm. automatically do half the stuff. It's got a HUD. Mm -hmm. They'll be like, but where's the ashtray? It's got one. No. Yeah. The 787 has they, an they, ashtray. They, they all have to have ashtrays. Really? I don't think I got, I got ground school tomorrow. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Street cred, baby. Ah, told you. Uh, what is it? You have to have a place to put them out. Pressure coals out, baby. Uh, but not in and the that, cockpit, dude. And that place is in the cockpit.